people of God, welcome to this August event. Welcome to this Bible study online. Uh, one of the part of the series, Samuel, Saul, and David, their ministries and the kingship. Praise the Lord. My name is Reverend David Sinokoko. In the course of the next 30 minutes, I'll be taking us to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 1, from verse, verses 14 to 18. Amen. Before we start, I would be glad to uh, play you a video. I want you to watch this promo about our school. Our school is called the International School of Ministry Greater Houston. The International School of Ministry Greater Houston is also called the ISOM, then with a GH. We are a member of the ISOM network, the world's largest video based Bible school. Praise the Lord. I want you to watch this video. And after that, I will continue to teach us. Praise the Lord. Get your ministry degree and start your future with ISOM Online. The International School of Ministry is the largest video Bible college in the world with over 330,000 students in 150 nations. For more than 25 years, we've produced dynamic training videos with the world's most influential Christian leaders, the best of the best, all selected for their exceptional ability to teach. Our expertly crafted courses are designed to help you discover your purpose and calling, become effective in ministering to others, and transform your life for the better. Sign up today and you'll get instant access to our library of over 200 exciting courses that you can view online at your convenience, on your time. There's no more affordable, enjoyable way to earn your ministry degree. Get your degree from the comfort of home. So whether it's for personal development, ministry, or spiritual growth, earn your degree and start power learning with the life-changing benefits of the International School of Ministry. The International School of Ministry. Be more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. My name is Reverend David Sinokoko. Uh, Get your David ministry David. degree and uh, start your future another, with ISOM Online. Uh, the International School of Ministry uh, is the largest the video Bible college in the world Samuel with over 330,000 students in 150 nations. For more than 25 years, we've produced dynamic training videos with the world's most influential Christian leaders, the best of the best, all selected for their exceptional ability to teach. Our expertly crafted courses are designed to help you discover your purpose and calling, become effective in ministering to others, and transform your life for the better. Sign up today and you'll get instant access to our library of over 200 exciting courses that you can view online at your convenience, on your time. There's no more affordable, enjoyable way to earn your ministry degree. Get your degree from the comfort of home. So whether it's for personal development, ministry, or spiritual growth, earn your degree and start power learning with the life-changing benefits of the International School of Ministry. The International School of Ministry. Be more. That is where Praise the Lord will have me this hallelujah. evening. To bring you the hallelujah, word hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody shout, hallelujah. And they gather here to Amen. pray. People gather here to do the work of God. They gather here to read the Bible, uh, to fellowship with one another. So uh, it's bringing you another, another it's not a bad thing. thing. It's somewhere, uh, what's most of us are talking. The part we are of familiar with this. Samuel, Saul, and David. Why? And the ministries. China and the king just before the level of us. That's where this is part 14. Amen. Amen. Located. We are going to part pray. We don't have a lot of time to waste. Of Samuel, and once Saul, we have prayed, David, we will begin our study. This uh, evening, we are bringing you this evening from a very good a church, a very wonderful church. International School of Life. I have, you know, greater history. We have ISOMGH. You know, from different acronyms. Other churches. I was ISOMGH. This church is part behind my background or behind the Glory Land Worldwide. Assembly of God. The headquarters is based in San Benedino, California. Cultural Church. That is the largest county in the United States. And um, that's where the headquarters is. Uh, this is the Galilean. ISOM operates in well over 150. That is countries all over the world. Have and me this at one time, I stand to look. Bring you there are about 40,000 people in the environment. 
kind of and they gather here to pray. People Our gather school, here to do the work of God. They gather here to or, read the Bible, go to the school of the history, history, fellowship with one another. So it's, it's one of those campuses. It's not a bad thing. It's somewhere in this campus. What's the first thing? Who are familiar with this? You equip you them, them. Sign up. There's a group that I eventually help them sign us. Just you know, that's where the credentials, ministerial credentials, is located. We're going to pray. We don't have a lot of time. I enjoy you. I enjoy us. Once we have prayed, you get to talk to us. To ask us questions. Uh, my name is Reverend David Sinopo. I am the first. If you want to be part of the school of ministry, uh, of that school, or that I especially have that degree. We are partnering with three universities. I say three universities. is a Christian Leadership University, New York, Covenant Theological Seminary, and Bishop International University. All these Christian universities endeavor you to acquire degrees. Degrees ranging from bachelor's. And uh, associate with the bachelor's and master's in David Coast. Uh, ISOM operates so in the well over 100 of uh, I have a country all over the world. According and to the book of Ephesians, at chapter, one time I looked, there were about Ephesians 40, chapter 4, verse 8 40, to 11. It is our line. Campus that are gifts. Our Amen. school or one of the gifts is teaching. The the Praise the Lord. Of and let me remember, Father, in the name of Jesus, is one of the gathered again to study. Somewhere in this campus, we train ministries and the kingship. We train believers to equip them. Whatever knowledge we Lord, that eventually you have helped them. For post for us, you have the mark for us. We have set aside for us. To do As the work we of God. study, Hallelujah. so let I enjoy you. I enjoy knowledge. Let me talk to that us. Kill us. Kill us. Ask us questions. Amen. Kill us with the word of God. Kill us with the wisdom of God. If you want to be part, remember, I am of that. That Let's go back to have that degree. Best. We are partnering with three universities. I said three Amen. universities. Time, I mean, part that Christian Leadership University, in New York, nine, Covenant Theological Seminary, and Tishon International all these best Christian universities. Where are we? We are, to we are studying Second Samuel, from chapter, chapter, excuse me, a Second King, Praise the Lord, Chapter One, Second King, Chapter One. Subject. Praise the Lord. So that's and I'm going to read the portion God has called us. And, uh, and I have a as, gift of teaching. Start our according study to the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter Kings, four, verse chapter eight one, to verse eleven. The Bible says, "And behold, gift. there came Amen. fire down from one of the given is teaching." God praise the Lord. And, and let me pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Therefore, we have gathered let again to study somewhere so in thy sight. What is happening here? This is part fourteen. Whatever no go back, we're not going to go back to what took place in the first for us. You have to be a man for us. We have set aside for us. King Ahaziah, the son of Ahab, has sent another group of captain. Those in the first group was the captain of 50 soldiers. He sent them to arrest this man. And being a man of God full of the miracle, he called fire from heaven and fire. Let's said, go back to this to bless one people. Praise team. the Lord. That's where he called that. He was I mean, the king time would have just stopped there. Team. He was not we as if that was not enough. Nine. Amen. And we ended up sent at another group. Now we are sent from verse 14. So and where are we at? We are studying second Samuel chapter. chapter. Me, second king. Praise the Lord. Chapter one. Devoured them. Chapter one. Roasted them. Verse praise the Lord. And I'm going to read that them scripture. But and excuse as me, at it will kickstart our roasted study this them. evening. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. He sent another one. Second Kings chapter one. And then by the time he sent Bible this, says, this and other one, behold, there came fire. The captain did not want to die. Heaven. Hallelujah. And he God knew the man, man of God had the power. He knew that the man of God fifties. Therefore, call fire from heaven. Let my life and now ask be precious him spare in thy sight. So let what us is happening here is a refreshment that of. I'm not going to go back. We're going not going to go back to all that took place. Other prophets, one to thirteen. But here, uh, the other prophets of the Bible, King Ahaziah, the son of Ahab, has said when he came out, when the captain came to Elijah, he said, "The first man was the captain, the king has said, the king has said, the man of God, coming to arrest the man of God, the Lord, the miracle, the man of God did not give him enough time. He called fire from heaven and fire roasted." So by sending fire from be heaven, praise the Lord. We, we, he called, we could read was it, in verse I mean, the 2, king, 12, it's would have just stopped there. Consume the soldiers not, of the I think that was not enough. God was Amen. reminded sent as I know that was Israel's sent and that, hallelujah, another captain the and his 50. And we, guess what? The Lord. When they came, the same thing happened. Lost. The man of God called fire like from heaven a little and it devoured them. Even at that them, we are still in line. Amen. But we are doing a recap of 
roasted what them. Happened. Hallelujah. Before we came, he sent another one. Fourteen. And I'm going to take this. And then by the time he sent this group, time. has he I had in his heart? I didn't know how to die. I don't know how to He knew when the man of God had the power. He knew that the man of God, they do not hear from God. Ask him to spare his life. So they do not hear from God. And that is a what happened to Ezekiel. What the third is going captain. On here? Remember, the I told us other prophets. He, he called the. He sent the first uh, captain. The other prophets of the Bible who were called Ahab men of God. God. Remember, fired when he came. Them. When the he captain came to Elijah, he said, "By the time the king has the said, the king has said, the king has said, come to arrest him. Praise the Lord. But the man of God did not give him enough time. People and fire keep on fire. So by sending fire from heaven, we stop. Amen. In verse 2, yes, 12, this Excuse king me. is so hard to consume so hard as the king. He wouldn't God even was take reminded no promise that he, he kept sending. If he him. had devoured the third group, he would have sent the Praise fourth the group. If he had devoured the fourth group, he would have Praise sent the, the fifth group. Praise you know, just to show you how hardened this like king when the little was. He believed the eventually that even at that, his army is going to in line. To arrest the man of God. But a recap of God is what we happened. God came. Elijah, and I'm going to take the show how how my team at the same time. If that man had, had, had sent, had they not had a, a, a group of 400 soldiers and their captain, God. Elijah would have had, had, had roasted them. all of them. They do amen. not hear but by the third one, God. the captain, amen, was, they do not hear from God. And that is what happened, happened to the father, Elijah. The third captain, remember I told us, he called, he sent the first captain, he not bleed with Elijah, fire from heaven, spare his life. He sent that's where I grew. Fire we roasted them. By the time 14. he sent he said the third captain sent by Ahaziah had Isaiah. more a respect you for God than Elijah. Sending. So, you know, he, 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 he respected fire keep the man of God. Come on, sir. That is a lesson for you. He tell you to stop. stop. There are so many people Amen. out there but just watching me. This king was so hard. He was so hard. Over that this, he wouldn't record them. Even you did not know for an answer. He kept saying, God. You knew if he had divorced the third group, the he would have sent the fourth group. If he had divorced the fourth group, he would have sent the fifth group. You, you know, respect respect just to show you how hardened this king was, this he believed eventually that you have to go army is going to lead to your arrest the man of God. But this God is hardly prospered for God. So this captain submitted to Elijah's power and showed how he to his knees. If that man had sent for him, a, a, a group of 400 soldiers and their captain, begged, Elijah Amen. would have roasted he all begged. of them. Amen. The but by the third one, the captain was me. Was yes. not going to call fire no. from heaven. The yes. was drawn fire to had devoured the first group. Yes. Oh, wow. Fire had devoured the second group. This time, from heaven. I am not going to be like them. He Amen. He with Elijah. Spare me. Man Spare his life. If the man of God had not put his mouth, fire. He said the third captain sent by Isaiah had the captain and only respect the fire had fallen. So that fire that you know he respected fire that the man of God. That is a lesson for you. Fire fell from heaven. There are so many people out there as watching me looking at you know over this in heaven recording. Now the lesson you do not respect the office people of God. You do not respect the men of God. You are not respect. Respect, respect of God. you do not the office of respect God. Respect the office this, of this the lesson of God. Respect, respect the office you have for God. The evangelist. Respect, respect the office of preservation. Respect the office. He of had the respect the for Elijah. The calling of the ministry. So this captain of the ministry of Elijah the usher. The ministry of the of God. Anyone. He pleaded for mercy. So oil of God. He essentially begged the man. Amen. Respect. Otherwise. He begged otherwise. The man of God. Destruction, Elijah, await him. destruction awaits Hallelujah. whoever goes to against him. Call now, fire from despite heaven. Despite your society, fire has devoured the political yes. or peace. Fire has devoured the rest of the This time, the ministry I am not going to be like them. The Amen. Enough, but the but confirm that it is a man, man of God that does open his mouth. Fire you have to be led. You have to know. To. You know, some people don't want to respect. respect. Just praise the Lord. The captain acknowledged because that the fire had fallen. We are that fire that has fallen in fellowship. From heaven. The fire One man of God will say, but we are not if if fire fell in from heaven, anointed. Where could they have God come from? To see no that this man is called in heaven, of from God. heaven. Now, the lesson is that recognize the anointing of the prophet. 
I am and challenging I swear, you, respect viewers of verse 15. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Respect I to read the 15 verse. And the angel of the, of the Lord said unto Elijah, of Go office. down with respect him, be not of afraid of him. him. Respect and he the arose of the and went down respect with him unto the, the king. King. This time, the pastor. The, the, of the, the, the ministry Elijah of the, the usher, is another man the of God that has in the house of God. The ministry Anyone. of angels. Angels are the always surrounding him. Angels are the always man. with him. Angels. Otherwise, when you read Otherwise, the second Kings with chapter him. one, this same chapter away this same chapter. Let's go back again. Now, despite your society, in the street, the Bible says, but the angel of the Lord respect Elijah the teach by three. Amen. The angel has come to him in the wife. But so if I'm speaking to him, you have to come. Amen. You have to what? be led. You have to we know. We learn the lesson that angels are ministry spirit. The people who are sent. Sent forth to minister unto them who shall be heirs of salvation. One man Amen. of God will say, What? We are not the poor. If you are called of God, if you are a prophet of God, if you are a prophetess of God, if you are an apostle of God, of God, teacher of God, respect, evangelist of God, pastor of God, whatever mystery you find yourself is office. Verse 15, the praise the Lord. Now, to read the it is verse. not and just the angel of the Lord says to teachers Elijah, also, go down with it him, also. be not afraid of him. <laughs> And he arose and went down with him. But the leader, this time, the angel of the Lord, everybody is Elijah is another man of God that has the ministry of angels. Angels are always surrounding him. Angels are always with him. Angels, in fact, when you read Second Kings chapter one, the same don't tell the man of God chapter. Let's go back to Second Kings chapter one. You don't deceive In verse 3, the Bible says, But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, to teach by it. Arise. The angel that spoke to him in verse 3, command. Just so speaking to him in verse 15. Amen. Amen. What? Let's praise the Lord. We learn. we learn the lesson that children of God and ministers, God has spoken the concerning the specific sent for to minister to unto them who shall be heirs of salvation. Amen. The lesson there is that angel of the Lord has spoken to Elijah. Amen. If you are called of Elijah, God, if you are a prophet of God, if you are a prophetess of God, if you are an apostle of God, that captain says, stand up. Teacher of God, say, come down. evangelist of God, so pastor of God, God. whatever mystery what? you find the yourself. The of the Lord spoke. The captain and the three. The captain is not and just and and the of 50. is not the teachers, apostles. It did not move Elijah until the angel gave for those up. Praise the Lord. Verse 16. I'm still reading. Verse 16. And he said unto him, Thus the Lord. said the Lord, Hallelujah. As God and thou hast sent messengers to inquire of Azabah, the messenger of Ekron, so the Lord told Elijah is to it take not because there is no God in take his head to inquire of his word? This is a question. You don't, Remember, you don't the angel the has to told him, go. go! You don't tell the man of God this captain. You don't tell the guy his office and his fifty and see what not message political that Ahaziah had for you. Hallelujah. And he went. Command. You know, sometimes the Bible says, be still and know that I am so Praise the Lord. Be still. The Bible Bible of God must be sure God has a be your friend. There are times you don't need to make a move. There are times you have to be in prayer. There are times you have to be spoken to. There are times you have to be watching the light. Has God spoken to you? for you now. And you think up. You know, that captain says, you don't know whether to go forward or go backward or to stop. Wait for the Lord. Pray. Guess what? Read your Bible. Praise Him. The captain and the captain and his and his group of people. You know, one time I was meditating and I was thinking about Abraham. Did not move Elijah until the end. When God said, Abraham, take your son, Isaac, your only son. I'm still reading. Verse 16. I began to. And he said unto him, Thus said God, Lord, the Lord, as much as thou hast sent messengers to inquire of Abraham, and the messenger of Echo, is it not because there is no God to take his word and continue in peace? His word. This is a question. Remember, the angel has told him. It means that he hears him. It means he. When God speaks, it does not sound like a human being. When God speaks, it doesn't sound like a When God spoke to him, it doesn't sound like. Hallelujah. And he went. Lord, or some other. You know, sometimes. 
the Bible says, be still and know that was God that was telling him. And that's how he Be still. The Bible says, in quietness, I mean, this will be your strength. Hey, hey, there are times when Elijah, there are times he has power. There are times you have to be studying. There are times you have to be worshiping God. He did not be spoken something to you and you think, so they can't you don't know whether to go forward or go back because of, of the Lord. Just that. What the Lord has spoken. spoken in your Bible that is him. what will and happen. One man of God. The castle of the Hebrews is the Lord. You know, not one time I was meditating and I was thinking about Abraham. Do not know God. When God said Anybody Abraham, that does not know God, your trying son, to counter the word of God, trying to go against the word of God, the Bible said, I began to meditate. And God spoke the Lord, the Holy Ghost said, He said, God, 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 God cannot God speak to him, Christ and he will not know that it is God. He challenged Hallelujah. Hezekiah, he said, Is it not because there is no God in this world that you will send messengers to go to take from to see a deeper walk with God? He means that he hears that him. He means, he, 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 when God speaks, he does not sound like a human being. When God speaks, he doesn't sound like Sarah. When God spoke to him, he wasn't sounding like God. Now he repeated, in verse 16, the voice of God. Amen. You, it was God. That Therefore, that shall not come down of that land in which thou art gone up. When or shall Ahaz, Ahaz. Down. you know, sorry. When, when God says something, you God cannot just cancel Ahaz's it. Palace. Ahaz's Before you palace. cancel what God has said, guess what happened? He began to repeat. God he did not miss what God told him. To God was giving you the counsel of the Lord. To alter His law, the counsel of the Lord. Understand what the Lord has spoken. That praise the Lord. Lord. We have two more verses and we are going to cancel of the Now let's look at verse 17. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, anybody that does not know God, so trying brother, to counter the word of God, trying to go against the word of Joram, God, the Bible says, the next message, they are canceled. They are returned to not be. Remember, this is the cancel of the Hebrews, the genealogy of the praise the Lord. Israel. He's challenged Israel. 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 He says, Is it not because Israel. there is no God in Israel that you will send messengers to go to the northern kingdom? See, actually, Isaiah was the last king of the United, United Kingdom of Israel. Divination. Trying to find the last king. What will happen? From a first class king. From first class in Israel. He said, You will die. Now he repeated in verse 16. Amen. Amen. Therefore, the that shall not come down of that bed in which thou art gone up, but shall surely die. You know, this time, this is the when God says something, Amen. you cannot just cancel it. Elijah and Elijah Before you cancel what God has said, you have now to look at what happened in verse 17. God has just spoke, be. must have spoken to you. In verse 17, the Bible says, so he died. Giving you permission to alter his word. Jehoram. Otherwise, there are consequences. Rain the Lord. in his stead. Or rain in the of the Lord. We have two more verses. In the second year of Jehoram, the son of Now, let's look at the second king of Judah because he has Bible said, no son. Ahaziah died. In fact, Ahaziah had no son. Because he, he, had, no he had no son. So his brother, Joram. That was the end. Joram is the next person that so Bible said his him. brother began to reign. Remember, Amen. this, so the, the, the lineage of Ahab was taught the genealogy of the king in of Ahaziah. Amen. Amen. And and this I believe that was a prophecy God has given to Judah. Yeah. Judah has, Ahab, Ahab's lineage yeah. will not continue. The northern kingdom. Amen. Actually, praise the Lord. Ahaziah was the last Hallelujah. Praise king the Lord. of the United Kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 18. The last now let's look, let's just um, do some little comments on Hallelujah. verse 17. One of the comments there is that the Bible says Joram, his brother, began to reign. The last Jehoram, Jehoram, J E H O R A M. If you look at this, if you go to the New International Version of the Bible, if you look at the Elijah and Elijah were prophesied in this period, you will see that. Look at what happened in verse 17. It's a Hebrew word. Jehoram, in verse 17, the Bible says, So he died according to the word of the Lord, which Elijah has spoken. R A M. Jehoram. Is a variant reigned of in his stead, the Hebrew or reigned Joram. instead of him, Joram, in the second year of Jehoram, the son of Jehoram, and king Jehoram, of Judah, J -E because he had no son. The same. Ahaziah yeah, had no son. Same, Amen. Just that one, because he had no son. The other one. Amen. That was the end. She did. You know, there are, there are so many names that say he's that vary from one. Amen. From so the, the, the lineage of Ahab was cut off. They mean the same thing. Amen. Ahaziah. Amen. And I believe so that this was the brother God 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 succeeded him as king of Israel because I have, I have Ahaziah had no Amen. son. Praise the Lord. So praise the Lord. was in the second year Hallelujah. of Jehoram. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's, let's verse go back to verse 18. 18. 
Now let's lose. Let's just um, do some little yeah. comments on so the let's go back 17. To the One of the comments the here is, is that this the Bible says Jehoram, his brother, began to reign. Jehoram of Jehoram, J -E -H -O -R -A -M. I'm just saying, in the if second look, year of if you Jehoram, go to the new international version of the Bible, if you look at the major, you will see that the son of the other part is a Hebrew word. word. No son. Jehoram is, in other words, a when Jehoram began to reign, J O R A M, king of Judah, is a variant of the Hebrew Joram. Joram was also no, was called J -O -R -A -M. Jehoram and Jehoram. Amen. J E H O R A M. Jehoshaphat was the king of men. It says one in the second year of Jonah, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. She, she, there are so many names that vary from one is dead in the second year of Jonah, the son of Jehoshaphat. But they mean the, the, the Jehoshaphat was the king so of this brother, Joram, so succeeded him as king of Israel because kingdom. Israel, Ahaziah had no son. Ahab the Lord. So was the king was of in the, the southern kingdom. Year of Jehoram. At the time, Jehoshaphat was let's the king go, go back of the southern kingdom. Ahab died, and Ahaziah yeah. began to reign his son. Sorry, let's go back. Jehoshaphat died, the Bible says, this yes, and Jehoram reigned in Jehoram. place of Jehoram reigned the first year, the second year. In the second year of Jehoram, when Ahab was still the king of Judah, praise the Lord. Now when the son Ahab of king of Judah, died, because he had no son, Ahaziah was began to when reign. Jehoram Amen. began to when reign. When Ahaziah was reigning, Jehoram the king was of also Judah. the king of Judah. Jehoram reigned the first year, called Jehoram. the second year. Amen. Ahaziah died. Jehoshaphat was the king of Ahaziah died. You see that it says his son, the second year of Jehoram, the son of his brother, king of Judah, who is also called Jehoram, became the king of Israel. Praise the Lord. So two kings. Jehoshaphat was one king of the successor to the throne. The other one, Judah, was the southern kingdom. Israel, the successor, by virtue of Ahab. Brother. was the king of Amen. the northern kingdom that is at what the time Jehoshaphat that is what was the happened. king of the in southern kingdom verse Ahab died and Ahaziah began to reign as so we are going to be closing on this Jehoshaphat 18. died Amen yes, we the Bible says now the rest of the house of Ahaziah which is are they not written Jehoram reigned the first year the second year of the kings of Israel when the book of Chronicles Ahab, by the time we get to the, the king of Judah, Judah. praise the Lord. No, no, now, when Ahab died, the Bible says it is recorded that Ahaziah began to reign. Of Amen. The, when Ahaziah was the, reigning, Jehoram was also the king, king of fashion. I always trust this Bible. Judah. Up. This Bible was bought. Jehoram reigned the first year. To Israel, the the second year, have to get me this Ahaziah died. Praise the Lord. This is a and when Bible. Ahaziah died. Yes. His son of which the Thomas, his brother, made amen of who is only also called this is only Jehoram, only three, became the king of Israel. Israel. Praise the Lord. Right there, you can see the So, two selection. kings. I'm not trying to sell us my Bible. Answering the same name. One is a successor to the throne. The other one. Remember, it is a, memory a memory successor that is what by virtue of cast back to brotherhood. The experience amen. I had. When that is I what on is going on. That, that praise the Lord. Now, let's look at in that verse 18 verse as we round up. We are 17. And remember, close. We are going to be closing on verse 18. And David, the Amen. ministries, and the, the Bible says now the rest Second of the answer of Ahaziah, which he did, we are stopping at not verse 18. In the book of the and this Chronicles is part of the King 14. of Next time Israel. we kick off, we are going to start the book of Chronicles. Now, the By rest the we get of the book ask of, of Ahaziah, the rest, in other words, what is not covered here, the Bible says it is recorded, will be the seen in the book of Chronicles of, of the Kings of Israel. Let me read Israel. it. It is written Again. here. It's a question, but it's this not King James actually. Version. I always trust this Bible. What? This Bible was the Lord. As I summarize, when I travel to Israel, I want to thank you for paying attention to this teaching, of, paying attention to this wooden Bible. Whose event, August opportunity, of which the, and the Lord is going to help us made to expand our knowledge to teach us this what is, is happening at this time. Three was in the political climate of Israel. Of Israel. Right Amen. Amen. The book of Chronicles. I'm not of trying Israel to sell us my Bible. Is the next book after two. Kids. I just want to. So after this you know, second book, 
that is why that last verse says, now the rest of the ass of Ahaziah, when is it not read the sea of Galilee? Praise the Lord. Now let's look at that verse 18 as we round up, we are done. And remember, it is Amen. Samuel, Saul, Somebody praise David. the Lord. Their ministry. My name is Reverend and Davison, and I want to thank the Lord. Second thank you for having this We are stopping at verse 18. You are being with us. And this is part 14. To listen to the word Next time we praise the Lord, we are going to start part when we are fellowshipping. Now, and the rest of the ask of the Lord, Lord. the rest. Praise the Lord. What is not covered this here? This is Houston, Texas. Will be this is in glory the land assembly of God of the multicultural church. This is in the my question, but actually not from which we prepare that this scripture. What and thank God we are in the environment where there as I summarize, hallelujah. There is no church. I want to thank you for the presence of God paying attention to this beautiful environment. Paying attention to you can see all these cars passing by. I thank the Lord God for the Amen. I am the facilitator of the International School of Minister and Knowledge, like I told us, Greater East is happening, which is the world's largest video in the political plan by Israel. Amen. The book of Chronicles of Israel is the next book after two kings. Our school had come so out after this second book, that is why who have that class that says different degrees. Now the rest Gra of the graduates and associate degrees is say they do not study from any of the partner universities. The of the kings One of them is the when you switch that Christian Leadership University, New York. Amen. Theological Somebody Seminary praise the Lord. And the vision My name is Reverend Davison, and I want to thank you for having thank you for having this short video. That's what you are with us. Next time, remember to listen to the word of God to praise the Lord because when we are ministering, fellowshipping, and listening to the word of God, let us actually Father, thank you because you have restored us. This is the glory and assembly of God. The Bible says that this is because the Lord shall not depart from our mouth, which is the word of God. For thou shalt meditate upon God in the night and day that thou might take to that to see what you did before that is not written there in the presence of God. But then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have an attendance. Amen. I am the facilitator of the international school. I thank the Lord because the wisdom is already unleashed, which is the world's largest video and the lessons by the world operating in about 100 and 60,000. My name is Reverend Davidson, and I look forward to having us graduate again in another section of the series. The men blessed, people of God, graduates with associate degrees in biblical studies from any of the partner universities. One of them is the Christian Leadership University, New York, the Covenant Theological Seminary, and the Vision International University, all based in the United States. I just want to say thank you for gathering here. And as we come again next time, remember it is Samuel, Saul, and David, the ministries and the kingship, part 15. Let us pray. Father, thank you because you have endowed us with knowledge, from wisdom. The Bible says that this book of the Lord shall not depart from our mouth, it is the word of God. For thou shalt meditate upon it night and day, that thou might take of that to do according to all that is written therein. But then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. That is written in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. I thank the Lord because the wisdom is already unleashed. The wisdom is available. And the lessons that the word of God has given us will not believe us in Jesus' name. My name is Reverend Davidson, and I look forward to having us again in another section of this series. Remain blessed, people of God. Hallelujah. Amen.